Welcome back guys, this is my first animated video. I'm still learning, so the quality won't be that great, but I hope you enjoy it, and with that in mind, let's get on with the video. Number 7. So, when I come home from work, 99% of the time, my dad will be in the living room, and I will say hello to him, but he won't respond until I've left the room. And I don't leave the room immediately, I'm in there for a good 5-10 to 10 minutes, it's like he purposely waits until I've left the room. Number 6. If I'm talking to my mum, and she asks me a question, like, do you want to go to the cinema? Within two seconds, and I quote, she will say, yes you do. Why ask me the question if you're gonna answer for me? Number five. So when I do go out with my mum, because she's decided for me, she will always people watch. And if you don't know what people watching is, the best way I can describe it is looking at a person or group of people and judging them. That's it. And it's gotten to the point where she would look at me, she wouldn't have to say anything, but I would know that she's people watching, just based on this facial expression. And I tried to draw it, but I couldn't capture the judgy essence. Number four. My mum's rules on time. If she says meet me here at this time, then, oh boy, you best be there on time, because if you're late, you're gonna get a lecture. I usually arrive early anyway, but because her clock is faster than mine, according to her, I'm late, and she always has to have the last word. Number three. So, my dad isn't the best with technology, and when something does go wrong with the TV or his PlayStation, he'll usually ask me to come and fix it, but nine times out of ten, it's something extremely simple, like it's not plugged in. Number two. My dad has a lot of stupid sayings that would confuse anyone, and sometimes I think he's just making them up to annoy me. Now, I could fill a whole five-minute video on all the stupid sayings that he has, but for convenience, I'll just give you the most common three that I hear. So the first one is going to the wooden hill to Bedfordshire, which means I'm going to bed. Number two, going for an eyelash, which means I'm going to the toilet. And number three, trundling down to the shops for a warp, which means I'm going shopping. Why can't you just talk like a normal person, Dad? Number one, this is the thing that annoys me the most because it happens at least twice a day. If I'm hungry or thirsty, I'll go see what's in the fridge. Let's say I've taken some grapes. I'll start eating them and my dad will say, there's grapes in the fridge even though he knows full well that I've already seen and started eating them. Now, this may not sound that bad, but try having this twice a day, every day, for four years. I'm pretty sure you'd get annoyed too. So that was seven things my parents do that annoy me. Let me know in the comment section what your parents do to annoy you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!